I lost a friend in 1996, a very, very, very close friend. Mom, mom's blood. <laughs> Almost made in Hollywood. Started a genre of music. Uh, some of you might be familiar with it. Uh, he started a band called The Gun Club. So it sounds like 12 of you are familiar, the other uh, three dozen should uh, run out and uh, for your next music purchase, get the Fire of Love, which is the Gun Club's first album. See, being from Los Angeles, we have all of these great bands throughout the years, The Birds, Love, Buffalo Springfield, X, Germs. All these amazing records in this Gun Club album, Fire of Love, ranks right up there with all of them. So do yourselves a favor, get the Fire of Love. This is a eulogy for one of my very, very best friends. See, um, <clears throat> Like you just you picked up somebody's empty glass there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Raise, raise a glass of toast to my friend Jeffrey Lee Pierce.
writing a song the other day and he brought up this scenario of pretending. Yes, let's be pretentious. I said, uh, I'm not really that person. Uh, I'm not writing about science fiction or any stuff like that. But um, singing that song for me is, well, for anybody really, fuck people, that's a, that's a pretty ugly statement. You know, but you have one of those shitty days where nothing go right, uh, everything falls apart, you, you want to punch somebody in the face or you want to blow up a building or something like that. And <clears throat> we can't really be that type of person. Uh, the, the statement is fuck people, it's fuck all of those other people who are too good or too cool or they look at me and th this statement is just like we're standing on a corner all shit's breaking loose and everything's fucked up fuck people um you know f fuck that guy who pulls up in front of your house at six in the morning and starts honking because they're too lazy to get out and go knock on the door yeah that's that's what the song's about but it's still kind of pretentious, you know, it's like, we'd like to kill a bunch of people, but we're not those kind of people. So we, we... <laughs> that, that, that's just not gonna happen. So anyways, hey, be good, be well, be strong, be smart. Don't be like what they expect you to be. To con continue on in a political fashion, we had a situation where we're from, speaking of we're better than you, uh, you're not good enough, go through the back door, don't come through the front door, no, you can't drink out of that water fountain. That's reserved for us, not you. Sit at the back of the bus. Don't even think about going to school with our kids. That shit doesn't fucking work because life's a big party and everybody should be able to come to the party and do whatever they want as long as they're not fucking with anybody. This, was, this song was written by a gentleman who's no longer with us, but it was popularized by a couple of soul brothers at the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland. Uh, the name of this song is called compared to what?
We would uh, first like to thank all of you for showing up tonight. And we hope that you've all enjoyed yourselves. We hope that you've all had a good time. Uh, we hope that you've made some new friends. We would also like to take this time to show some appreciation, to toss some appreciation towards some of the other bands that performed tonight, including uh, Epic. and the hard-ons. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to uh, introduce all the people that are up on stage tonight. First we have the Australian Stallion. Now, some of you should be familiar with his, some of his other work when he's not working with bands. He's from the Gold Coast, which is your porno capital here in Australia, I do believe where every other house is being rented or leased for non-stop porno action filming and for everybody's... <laughs> up and down on the Gold Coast. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, that's out. Uh, when he's not working for us, I believe he's worked with Fucked Up, he's worked with Trash Talk, some of our favorite people, some of our heroes. Yes, we can have, being older guys, we can have younger heroes. That's Dimitri Coates, plays in a band called The Burning Brides. This is Mario right behind me. Mario. That, that's great that you're showing appreciation and you recognize him because I'd be up here for half an hour rattling off all the bands that he's played in, including Rocket from the Crick and Hot Snakes and Earthless and Click of Get Down. One of my favorite San Diego bands, the Battalion of Saints. <laughs> learn a hot snakes riff or a or an earthless riff see because the, the way that earthless plays you can learn an earthless song and play it and i'll just talk over it S spoken word it's been known to happen before anyways this is uh, one of my uh very good friends stephen mcdonald stephen shane mcdonald who I've known since he was 11 years old. And uh, when he and his older brother Jeffrey came into the Black Flag rehearsal space at the Baptist Church in Hermosa Beach and told us that they were in this band called The Tourists, we immediately said, that doesn't work. The Tourists, not happening, okay. So of course they did their homework Right? You did the Linda Blair homework at the Exorcist show when she's uh, getting back to the Australian Gold Coast and the, the porno. When she's, uh, I guess, uh, pleasuring herself with the, with, the, with the white cross that eventually becomes a red cross. So, yeah, I've, I've known Stephen probably what, way too long, right? 30, 40 years, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, speaking of the church and Red Cross and Black Flag, um, growing up in Hermosa Beach, we actually have another character, another, like, very happening character from Hermosa Beach. But I'm not going to introduce him to you because he'll just come out and shake everybody's hands and sign autographs. And he was the kid that used to... Um, wander around the Hermosa Pier at the Strand. I remember seeing him and was like, okay, who's that little guy? There's somebody smaller than me that lives here in Hermosa Beach. Uh, anyways, growing up we have all of these fun things that we do. You know, all of the experimentation. Uh, jumping off two-story buildings, jumping into swimming pools, um, you know, lighting the houses on fire, just all sorts of knuckleheaded shit, doing drugs, drinking, 
all that fun stuff. And this next song is uh, about all of all of it, and probably pretty much just living through all of it and being able to survive and uh, know when to say yes and when to say no. Anyways, this one is called Peace in Her Mind. <laughs> 